Greetings everyone, it's Roy Hess. Here's another vlog for you. Um, remember when I had issues with my um, Asus GM70JT whatever thing, I, I totally forget what the SNP model is. The model is, um, oh yeah, I always forget. The model is G751J. Yeah. What I'm trying to say is, the other day I had issues with the um, built-in uh, solid-state drive in the, in the system here. We're gonna have a look at that solid-state drive, which has failed on me. I put it into the stove at 150 degrees Celsius for like 10 minutes and it worked after that. But I don't trust it anymore. So, guess what was in the post today, in my post box? Let's unbox. Uh, okay, it comes. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. So, I have ordered a Crucial CT500 MX200. The MX200 series is pretty fast, insanely fast, they said. There it is. 500 gig Crucial MX200 as solid state drive. Yeah, so they said this is ins insanely fast high read and high write rates and like I don't know 100,000 IOPS per second something like that I don't care about these specs so to get access to the Asus solid state drive in the G75 series you just have to undo a screw and just pull it up okay and here's the solid state drive you see, I've undone a couple of screws. Sorry if there's no autofocus, the video's blurry. I don't have a tripod and I don't have a proper camera. I have to film with my DSLR. So, here is the solid state drive. Let's have a look at it. So, that's the SanDisk SSD which has failed on me. Uh, it just wouldn't work. After Windows Update, I rebooted the computer and it wouldn't get recognized anymore. Even on another computer, it wouldn't get recognized anymore. So, yeah, good. I have, I have undone the uh, housing of this, put the PCB into a stove and put it back into the computer and it worked again. But I don't trust this junk anymore, SanDisk. <sighs> so when I got my SanDisk SSD to work again, I immediately uh, pulled the backup of this. So here's the backup on a regular hard drive. Hmm. On the crucial box there is a seal, a seal, but... You can just pull it off like that. Huh. So yeah guys, what's in the box? In the box is a Crucial MX200 SSD and a little spacer. That's it. You don't get any more. But we don't need any more. Oh look, there's a little, <laughs> little instructions book or something like that. Oh, it comes with a, with a um, Acronis true image like mm, key. I can buy a Chronos or I can get a Chronos true image with that. Do I need that? No. So that's the SSD and that's the other side. Two and a half inch solid state drive. So in order to clone this um, solid state drive I'm going to I'm going to use my old uh, Latitude the Latitude laptop here. Also has a SSD. I'm going to put in the crucial SSD into the uh, Dell laptop as a primary hard drive. Just like that. <clears throat> then I'm going to take my old um, then I'm going to take my old SanDisk SSD put it into a USB adapter. Uh, it's really hard to do it with one hand, but can I do this on camera, maybe? Okay, and I'm going to put plug that into the USB ports. So, in order to clone this thing, uh, this laptop doesn't have a, a main hard drive anymore, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to boot from um, network, because I have a computer that uh, serves some network test things, sorry for the blurry screen. And what I can do is like mem tests, but what I'm going to do is partition magic. And it's going to boot from network. 
been trying to drain the battery life of my Samsung Galaxy but since I have this uh, big ass like battery on the back yeah the 4% has been sitting there like 4 hours So Partition Magic has some cool, uh, cool tools like Clonezilla and with that we can actually copy drives, partitions, stuff like that. So I've hooked up both drives now and yeah, let's see if they get recognized actually. There should be two. Yeah, that's great. Good. Just want to see if there's any data on the crucial MX200 SSD. It's always nice to have an operating system that you can boot from network. Sorry for the crudity of my screen camera filming business. <laughs> I apologize for that. Yeah, it's empty. And this one has a couple of partitions. Good. Let's do a copy job. So what I'm going to do is we're going to click uh, disk cloning. Dialog pops up. Sorry for the screen filming business. Okay, and let, let's film like that. Sorry for the screen camera filming. That's a bad job, I know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work with the device directly, not with images. Work with the device directly. Okay, we're going to be good with beginner. Disk to local disk. Totally good. So, now we select the source. The source is our SanDisk solid state drive. The target is our uh, Crucial MX200 solid state drive. It doesn't matter if it has like a uh, different size, that doesn't matter. Now it uh, asks us ask again uh, warning, warning, all partition stuff will be deleted since, this is, since the crucial is a new one. I don't really care. So let's press Y. Press Y again. Always read the warnings. And there you go. Now it's going to cop copy the stuff. And that's going to take a while. Depends on the speed. Since I'm reading from USB, it should be a bit uh, faster. And I'm writing to local drive. So that should not take too long. <laughs> Oops, totally forgot to plug in the uh, charger for the laptop. That could have gone wrong, but everything is all right. I think we're good. We're getting there. So I think we're finished. Let's see if everything went well. I think so. Now what I'm going to do is um, just go into the shell. I just want to check uh, the uh, smart data. That's general info on this guy and that's the smart attributes. Unused resource block count, temperature and a couple of unknown attributes. All right, guys. So copying is finished successfully. Let's shut down. So the new SSD is installed. I have the screws uh, turned tight. Let's test it. Oh no, the coffee mug has left a stain on the table for me to always remember this coffee was tasty. So now the cover is all clean again. I cleaned it up in the beginning. So let's open her up and see if she boots. No problems whatsoever. And here's the original SSD. No problems whatsoever. Success! Beauty! So here's a benchmark, just, just, just the generic, uh, generic benchmarks. 
This laptop has uh, like uh, three hard drives. Uh, one over here, I, re I removed the optical disk drive and put in one of those uh, like hard drive things. Okay, good. So let's do a benchmark. Just a generic one, right? Uh, where's the start button? I can't see it. Writing is 450. Reading is like uh, peak almost 500. So they, they claimed it'd be like 500 and over 500. Needs a bit tuning, I guess. But those rates are pretty good. No, those rates are totally good. We're gonna compare that to a regular hard drive in just a second. Yay, cell phone turned off. Nice. <laughs> wow, that took a long time to drain the battery. Uh, the, the thing is finished. So again, this is just a generic benchmark, but the overall score I think is, is okay. I think there's a bit tuning left, but yeah, overall I'm satisfied with that. Just a comparison, that's how a Hitachi hard drive does. And there's the HGSD one. I disabled the 4K tests because they uh, they take like yeah half an hour times four each to complete. So yeah, you can see the difference. A new big partition for games. Yeah, I'm gonna install Arc Survival Evolved on this part partition to make it load faster. Yeah. So thank you so much for watching. See you again in the next vlog. Goodbye.